Hello, welcome back to Metroid Prime. Last time, we discovered quite a few things after killing a bunch of space pirates. One of them is that we are actually in the same solar system as Zebus. And if you know a bit about Zebus, you know that's a little bit terrifying. Uh, but alas, here's our little save point, and yeah, we can save here. So, uh, with our energy and missile replenished, we may continue. And there's something here that uh, I think we can pick up, and it appears to be a new type of gun. All right, what do we get? A super missile. This powerful beam uses five missiles. Using the power beam, press A to charge and then press Y to fire. Additional data downloaded to inventory screen. So what this means is... Yeah. Well, let's switch to the wave beam. Uh, the way you kill these guys, if you went to the last episode, uh, the wave beam will now let us to blow them up. And well, these guys can just kind of be, uh, you know, blown up with a missile. Now, these guys can't be. The only way to blow these guys up is to try to shoot them, but oh, watch out, uh, they're gonna start moving faster. Or with it, with the case of the other guys, faster towards you. Uh, the little yellow ones. And uh, we need to activate this t this uh, elevator to the control tower and head up and also charge up the gun just you know just in case because I have a feeling we are we have our souls we have our souls okay that is not a new unit We hit him twice. Uh, this gun's actually faster, but it's a bit less versatile, and I think the hitbox is smaller. But it's fine. Come on, we can hit him. Oh no, there's more. They appear to be new. Okay, what are you? A new creature. Flying pirates, pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. They're extremely agile in the air, but you can track them with thermal imaging. If the pack fails, they'll make a suicide strike. Okay, this is what the super missile is for. Uh. Wait a minute, no, they said the wave beam has a uh, limited. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, I need to target. They said the wave beam has limited tracking abilities. Which would mean... If I actually remember to switch to it at, in time... There we are. Uh, that seems to be it. Oh, there's more. Uh. Come on. <sighs> there's two more for now. Come on. Oh, wait, I, I can't do... Wait a minute, I'm stupid. Hold on. Yeah. And now, I can blow him up. Okay. Well, we should probably blow up some of these boxes for health. Ah, huh, unless we can't, which... I'm pretty sure we just flat out can't with some of the big ones. Can we? I don't think we can, but, uh... 
We can definitely blow these little guys up. Uh, what about... Yeah. We can blow up these boxes up as well. Come on. Thank you. No, it's not that much health, but, uh... However much health we get, it helps. And now we're gonna be going down. Keep your gun fucking ready. You never know when one of those guys will appear. Hmm. We went the wrong fucking way. Uh, let's head back. Yeah, I was confused for a moment. Okay. Oh, not not you again. Come on, I'll just shoot you normally. Because they said it has limited homing capabilities, and... Wow, they really do. Uh, can I just... Keep on firing. Yeah, I've lost a lot of health in this battle. But... So have they. Yeah. I don't think they like what I'm doing very much. So... Once the jetpack is down... They'll attempt to, uh... You know, shoot at me. Come on. Well, they'll not attempt to shoot at me. They'll attempt to, uh... Fucking beeline for me. But... You know... Oh, that's good. You know, I want to have as much health as possible and not go the wrong way this time. Come on. Get that guy. And we can get that guy as well. Come on. Now that we're going the right way, uh, we should still be wary of enemy hostiles as we go into the research lab. We know that they know where we are now. It's not like previously, where we could hide behind the idea that, well, you know, maybe they can't, you know, tell us apart from the other issues, which granted probably is the reason why we didn't see so much pirate activity. If they knew it was us, they would have probably sent some stronger people here. Holy shit, it's a Metroid! Hey, little boy. Uh, what is it trying to do? Ah, yeah, let's scan him. A new creature, Metroid, energy-based parasitic predator. The dominant species of planet SR388. Metroids can suck the life force out of a living thing. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing it larger as it does. The only way to shake and attach Metroid is to enter a morph ball mode and lay a bomb. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, die. Ah, where are you? Yeah! Metroids don't fuck around. Much more importantly. Oh no. What is that? Ah, hi, it's uh, one of you. Bro, I just killed a Metroid. Go away. More of them are trying to climb up. Uh, we need to figure out what the fuck's going on here very quickly. Log 10444. Initial transfer of Metroid to Talon Pool Research Facilities has been completed. Three were terminated in an incident at the landing site, but others were pacified and transported safely. 
Initial phase on use infusion testing is underway. We are eager to observe the effects of a phase on on Metroids, especially their ability to absorb and process the energy given off by phase on sources. Early research suggests a considerable growth in their size and power. Whether the creatures stay stable thereafter remains to be seen. Yeah, wait, I just. Please help. Give me. Thank you. Phaser Infusion Stage 6, Subject Metroid VR 5497. He's. It's gone. That's worrying. Stasis Tank B1118, contaminated beyond acceptable safety standards. Removal squad requested. Uh, I don't know where that went. Metroid containment fields appear 100% effective after adjustments. The hooked mandibles of Metroid penetrate the skin of its prey and siphon pure life force energy. Internal, whoop, sorry, internal organs of Metroid seem to be limited to nucleonic absorption cells and massive energy reservoirs. Metroid brain scans results in. Containment temperature is stable at 3 centigrade. Environmental diagnostics satisfactory. Okay. The reconstruction of Geoform 187 codenamed Ridley, uh-oh, was recently completed. After his defeat on Zebes, Command ordered a number of metagenic of metagenetic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and defensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the mainstay of our security force. A job he will certainly relish. Well, you know, that explains the uh, Ridley from the start. They rebuilt a new one. And uh, while we have time, all guards must use ice containment gear when transporting Metroids. Uh, directive, in the event of a Metroid attack, repel creature with missiles to set to maximum concussion. As energy-based creatures, Metroid show immediate mass increase upon energy absorption. Okay, and Space Parasite Grenade sorted. Confidence is high regarding Phazon applications. We know enough about Phazon to begin combining it with Space Pirate DNA. The code for this venture will be Project Helix. Preliminary studies indicate that Phazon fusion could produce radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent mutation levels are high in current test subjects, but Phazon madness is a concern. But re refinements in the infusion process should reduce or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. So that's worrying. We're gonna have to fight these fuckers, but as mutants. Where are you, buddy? Oh, hello. Come on. Where? One of them's down there. Oh yeah, this really is homing. Uh, there's two more over there somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Motion knee hunter Metroid DG appears to trigger psychotic episodes. Personnel have to stay at least three meters away from the stasis tank. Hunter Metroid DS is showing signs of increased instability and a heightened immunity to cold dampening fields. Oh, that's not him. Anywho, uh... Hello there, sir. I am going to tase the ever-loving fuck out of you. Elevator operational. Step into the hologram. What's this? Metroids infused with phase on strain vertigo are thriving. We feel they could create class 1 energy harvesters if proper submission measures are employed. Do they mean domestication? Huh. Somebody appears to be here. That's a new door. Empty stage tank to be used with biological specimen. Okay, there's something over there. Stasis tank C1... 
CO12 is contaminated below safety standards. Remove immediately. Huh. What if? Is this gonna release the other Metroid? Uh, no. Okay. So the super missile can blow a stasis chamber open. This tank holds the remains of experiment 7526. Conversion of elite pirate unsuccessful. Well, let's see if we'll, we'll be able to blow it open later. Quarantine specimen exhibits highly aggressive behavior. Hold on. Its body structure, composer phase and all, appears to be nearly invulnerable. This has rendered our efforts to train and discipline subjects useless. East Quarantine Cave has been secured. Specimen remains in the quarantine area. All experiments have been suspended pending extraction of area. Then we have a Project Titan is suspended definitely. Security breaches resulting in massive casualties have occurred. Access is strictly prohibited until further notice. Okay. Studies of Metroid biology continue, though with limited progress. It seems likely that we will be much more successful using the Metroids for all means rather Oops. Uh, if they could be adequately tamed, we would have no is wrong uh we could have you have a near limitless power of wait i missed one yeah um and containment they will be invincible furthermore if we could harvest the energy they'd consumed we would have a near limitless source of uh, space power yeah 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 Metroid dissection continues to provide more questions than answers our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from it Invasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripartite nucleus. But the manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim does not lose blood or any other vital fluid. Yet yeah, the Metroid extracts energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. It takes no physical form, and yet without it, the victim dies. We continue to research this matter, as giving the isolation of this life-giving essence could be the key to our ascendance. Ah, so you want to ascend, huh? Well, there's two things I need to do here. Thing one. Unbreak that open. Uh, thing two. As you can probably tell, let's uh, bust this guy open. You know what am I doing? Wrong button. Again. There we are. You know, just want to make sure all Metroids have been eliminated. Uh, realistically, I don't know if we need to do this. But you know what? I'm going to do the pirates a bit of a favor. Oh, hello there. I haven't seen... Oh, I, ha I really haven't seen these guys in quite some time. Okay, I'm gonna have to use these. Yeah. Theoretically, actually, just by charging up the beam and shooting, yeah. Rip. Hmm. So this is gonna be the main laboratory. Well, uh... Let's see. Oh, that. of that is it's dead oh there's more of them aha uh -huh. what 
Jones over here. Okay, well, L. Well, whatever resistance was here is now destroyed. Uh, almost as if what we see are remnants. We're gonna have to be quick before backup arrives. Thermal visors in inter visor interfaces will be sent to quarantine area. These visors will be useful for any personnel involved in transport of unstable test subjects there. Central tank control circuit connection terminated. Oh. Oh, that's good! Don't worry, I have, uh... Not even the slightest shred of trust when this game gives me something good. I am like uh, an abused housewife. If you give me something good, I'm gonna assume that this is so you can beat me to death later. Uh, like, realistically, yeah, it's the Metroid lifestyle. Okay. So, I guess I can use the radar. Yeah, see, if it disappears on the radar, it means it's dead. Even if it continues shooting me a little bit. Come on, give me some heals. Oh, yeah, you give me some heals, too? <laughs> How nice of you, finally. Uh, what do you have to tell me? Central tank main circuit connection terminated. Understood. What else is here? Uh, inform command that thermal vision tests will begin soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. That it? That's it. And, uh, how do I get in? How do I get in? What? Alright, man, how do I get in? Okay. Huh. That's a bit of a fucking puzzle. Yeah, auxiliary connection terminated. Ah, okay. One. Now Samus has a thermal visor. And I can press down and I... If I go into normal mode, yeah, you can't even... Want, let's go anywhere down here. Although I am getting ah. Well, next time we save, which I hope the game will let us do soonish. Ah, shit. You again. Hey, 
There we are. So yeah, uh, waiting for it to attack, I think, is the point in time when we fire the super missile. More importantly, with like 600 health now, it's uh... Well, this tank's gonna burst as well now that the protection is out, right? Yeah. So... You just have to hit it once at the right point in time. No metro signatures in there. That's good. Uh, good thing these, uh, like, platforms that are made of energy are still operational. Okay. Come here. There we go. Hmm. Oh, what do we do here? Ah, oh, wait a minute. What does this do? Oh. Ah, oh, hello there. What are you doing here? Can't even quite see what that is, but... Oh my goodness. What is this? Well, we just killed it. Hmm. I can probably just... Well, uh, that's a bit embarrassing for you, buddy. Okay, this room has uh, regenerated its Metroid as well, which will mean I won't try to spend time blowing them up. Yeah, that's dead. It's not shooting like that. Yeah, that means it's dead. Hello there. So they've cut the power and sent in the ninjas. What I've never understood is, uh, I mean, I guess it's done for simplicity's sake. It's uh, turning an enemy's language that's like an alien to just, you know, grunting and screaming at you. But again, it can't be all like, you know, the Avatar movie. The one of the blue guys, not with the, uh, magical powers. Uh, specifically because, you know, creating a actual... I, even if it's not actually a language, but, you know, when they yell, you know, they speak in sort of... They, they, they talk in a way that you would understand as some sort of language. Uh... Oh. Ow. He's shooting at me. Ah, yeah, you. Okay. Oh, go fuck yourself, buddy. Much more importantly... Uh, there appears to be a door that's open over there. Oh, uh, we need to get the fuck... Well, preferably A... Outside. But more importantly, just to a save point, which is, uh... Not too far from here. Oh, we will be outside soon. I'm gonna keep a charged up wave beam, you know. Just in case. Ah, oh, shit. You again. It's 
so they take uh, three hits. That's one. Hold on, that's two. I guess I did hit them before with some lighter attacks. Now there's going to be three more of them. Oh no, it's two more for now. Come on. But I think it's... Let me see. So it's one light, one heavy, one light, and one heavy. And another light attack, and one more light. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I'm mostly just searching to uh, top my missiles up. Yeah, okay. Now we can go. And, uh... Oh, this area seems to have power. It looks the same with the visor on or off, so... That's good, although, uh... Hmm. This area uh, seems to still be completely crowded in darkness. Oh, it should open, yeah, if I wait a little. No nasty surprises. Something's gonna fucking break in. I'm gonna run. No! Oh, no, wait, it's just them. I was so fucking terrified of that. Just... You know, just falling down. Not dealing with them for... Huh? Saw something there. No mind, it's just a planet. <laughs> yeah, because why bother fighting them? Because we can just heal and they'll be back. And uh, I'll see you next time when we... Uh... Well, see what the fuck we need to do. I guess we should go to that other door now that we have the thermal visor. Because, again, it can show us the uh, things that we previously couldn't see. So that's always interesting. See you then. Goodbye.